afternoon. My name is James Woolwich at the Abbey Fields Clinic. We're just doing a short two minute talk on how sugar affects pain. And what happens is when we take processed sugars in, a number of things happen that we know about. Number one is that insulin levels go up, which most people have heard about. The job of insulin is to put blood sugar into your cells. And unfortunately, it puts quite a lot of it into your visceral fat cells, which increase um, the amount of ab abdominal fat that you have, and that fat secretes inflammatory chemicals, which is not good. Number two, um, we have this stuff called AGEs, which are advanced glycation end products, and they're complicated chemicals that, which is sugar combining with protein and fat that run around your blood system, and they unfortunately create oxidative stress, which is the opposite of what most people have heard of as antioxidants. And oxidative stress breaks down cartilage or makes cartilage quite prone to damage, which is the underpinning mechanism for arthritis. So that's how that works. Number three, you have this stuff called C-reactive protein. And this is the test that your GP will do to test how much inflammation you've got in your blood. About a can of Coke will raise those levels significantly and take about 12 hours to drop off. Another mechanism of why sugar is not particularly helpful is it takes about 28 molecules of magnesium to break down one molecule of sugar. So sugar can deplete levels of magnesium in the body that are really, is a really important mineral, along with potassium, that help to keep you healthy on a number of levels. So you end up having reduced magnesium in the presence of high sugar levels. The best thing you can do with this is to have a whole food diet, which everyone hears about, which sounds a bit boring, but there are actual mechanisms at play here that we now know about that correlate with sugar levels and pain, because sugar will increase inflammation and inflammation then increases pain. So thanks for listening today.